Now joining us now is one of those seeming fence sitters who's not with either the Gaylord or pilot camp. I'm joined at this moment by Divya Maderna, Congress MLA. Appreciate your joining us, uh, Divya. You seem to be one of the few MLAs not with either the Gaylord camp, pilot camp. Is the Rajasthan Congress split right down the middle? Are people like you going to do simply what the Congress's high command, i.e. Sonia Gandhi, decides on the leadership question? Absolutely. I'm a die-hard Congress loyalist. Uh, and I've inherited this politics from my grandfather, from my father, and I'm going to stick by no matter what decision High Command takes. We are uh, in discipline as a Congress person. We are going to stick by whatever decisions taken by High Command. Just to say that Divya comes from the Maderna family. Her grandfather was a contender in the 1990s for the Chief Minister post. So you're telling me, uh, Divya, that whoever the Congress High Command decides as the Chief Minister whether it's Mr. Gaylord who is to continue, whether it is Mr. Pilot or someone uh, else, you will go with whatever Sonia Gandhi decides? You are saying you have absolutely no preference? Yes, absolutely. No references at all. You know when this fiasco in 2020 was happened, I was part of the 102 uh, uh, MLAs which were camping uh, in leadership of the CLP uh, head, Mr. Gaylord, because the official Congress meetings and the official observers by Mrs. Gandhi was sent there. And the official CSP meetings were taking there. So I'm always going to abide. I've inherited the disciplinary and this commitment towards an unshakable commitment from Congress. And that is what is defined as a true congressman. But is it true that people like you are in a minority, that most of the people in the Raj most Rajasthan Congress MLAs are with Mr. Gaylord, only a small number with Sachin Pilot? Is that how we should see it? Or there are, are there are a lot of people like you who will take your decision once the high command chooses who it prefers? No, I, I completely condemn this. I believe every single, except two, three of them who we saw giving statements, which is the parliamentary affairs minister and the chief whip of the party, Mr. Mahesh Joshi. I don't know. They must have done this uh, uh, because of their own wasted political interests. What happened? I will not be able to comment on that. But every single MLA, every single minister, whether it's from the Gilos uh, camp, whether it's from the Sachin Pilots camp, but when it comes to high command, we all stand together with one way that we accept whatever the high command has to say. But Divya, the Gelot loyalists are saying that the majority of MLAs want the chief minister to continue or someone close to him to continue. Therefore, the high command must listen to the views of each MLA. Do you agree with that? You know, when 2018, the mandate was given and there was a PCC meeting, a CLP meeting called at the PCC, there was a one-line resolution that was passed in the name of the high command. And then the observers, Mr. Avinash Pandey and KC Venugopalji, met every single MLA knowing their sentiments and conveying to the high command. So that was the same thing that was supposed to happen in that uh, CLP meeting on Sunday evening, where a one-line resolution to be passed in the name of the high command, and whatever is decided by the high command is accepted by every single legislator. And then the observers were supposed to meet every single MLA one-on-one. -on -one. To know what they feel, what they want, and that was supposed to be conveyed to the high command. And then, after whatever concession, after discussing whatever outcome that she decides, would have been, every congressman would have abided by. So, I believe if more people would want Mr. Gale to continue, they could have easily given us one on one opinions. And I'm sure in the future, when we have the next CLP, we'll be able to express their views to the observers. So, do you think Sachin Pilot should be, would be the future chief minister? Should he be the chief minister? Let me be direct of Rajasthan now, in your view. I think any name that is decided by the pres uh, Congress president will be good for the future of Congress. So does that include Sachin Pilot? Would you have absolutely no problem if tomorrow Sonia Gandhi and the Congress leadership in Delhi decide there will be a generational change? Would you think most people will accept that in Rajasthan? I have no problem with Mr. Gallows continuing. I have no problem with Mr. Sachin Pilot coming in. I have no problem with some new name coming in. Any name that happens to be decided by the Congress president, I think all Congress MLAs are going to be okay with. But, you know, Divya, there are those who are saying that Sachin Pilot betrayed the Congress, tried to bring down the Gaylord government two years ago. How can you make him a chief minister? That's what the Gaylord camp is saying. Every legislator has their own opinion, and so they can opinionate themselves with the observers. And they will all listen to them, and I'm sure they will make a uh, decision which is just best for the Congress. I would not be able to make any such comments on somebody's personal integrity, but um, uh, people raising such issues should raise these issues as well when 
people of her camp were inducted in the cabinet as well. That time, Mr. Shanti Wal, Jari Wal didn't have any objection. When they were interested in the Congress PCC, they didn't have a problem. I don't know why they have a problem and how can you question the high command as to what they decide? So, therefore, what you are saying is in the course of this week, you and other MLAs in Rajasthan on the ground believe that the issue can be resolved amicably. Am I correct? I'm very, very certain because I think as Congress, we all united, whether it be the Chief Minister, whether it be a politician, whether it be the Mr. Pilot, whether it be any other leaders of the Delhi who is intervening, and all legislators are united when it comes to high command. There is absolutely no dispute. Nobody is disputing over whatever decided by high command except except Mr. Shanti Dhaliwal and Mr. Both of whom have been served disciplinary notice. And I'm going to leave it there, Divya Maderna. I'm glad to have Rajasthan MLAs now coming out, talking quite openly. Good to listen to you. I remember traveling with your grandfather in the 1990s. He could have been chief minister in 1998, was passed over for Ashok Gelot. So I guess that is too in the past, right? All in the past. But that's okay. You know, I mean, um, I'm, I'm, uh, to say so, because you know, even then one line resolution was passed, and then gracefully accepted that. Okay, so you're expecting a one line resolution, and whoever the high command decides will be your choice. Divya Maderna, appreciate your joining me here on the news today.